Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee, your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Yes, thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Friday, July 19th through Sunday, July 21st. Yes, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that these readings are timeless, so just because it's dated for the weekend of the 19th to the 21st, it doesn't mean it has to resonate with you at that time. Yes, it could resonate at any time. Time. Whenever you find this video, whenever you come across this video and the messages resonate with you, then that is the right message for you at that time. All right. Um, we had a really awesome happy hour session last night. Thank you to everybody that came through. Um, so if those of you that missed it, I apologize. I do take somewhat of res responsibility for that because I meant to mention it in the beginning of the reading, but of course, an hour later, I didn't remember until the reading was finished, so okay. And then I forgot to post it <laughs> until like three o'clock yesterday. But anyway, it was a great turnout. <clears throat> Don't worry, do not fret, do not fear. There will be more happy hours coming up. Um, I just gotta figure out, I want it to be on a certain day. Normally I would do it on a Wednesday, but Wednesday is our beach day, me and my friends, so uh, I'm not sure. I might end up doing it on a Tuesday. I might end up doing it on a Thursday. If, um, if we go to the beach on Wednesday. If we don't go to the beach on Wednesday, then I'll do it on Wednesday. But just stay tuned. Um, once, most likely once the summer is over, I'll be able to do it, you know, regularly and, you know, have a regular schedule. But for right now, just bear with me. I'm going to do my best to remember to announce it for people. Okay? Okay. Um... I don't really have a pre-shuffle this time, you guys. Uh, some things, I mean, I, I shuffled the energy a little, I shuffled the cards a little bit, you know, and some things fell out, but nothing really seemed to fit. Nothing was really coming through with what came out. So I just decided to say, fuck it, let's just start the reading and see what happens, yeah? So this is gonna be for your weekend. This is your weekend edition. Okay, oh, I say that, but then also it doesn't have to resonate for the weekend. Whatever, take it as it resonates, what <laughs> whatever, you guys. Let's just get to it. Oh, I do want to mention, um, if you guys haven't done so, oh, wait, I do want to mention this. Um, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and check me out on Instagram, um, at divine underscore conversations. I do live readings there also. Um, and I plan on doing more of them, doing them more regularly. Normally, I would just do, um, you know, a live reading. I would go live right before I do happy hour. But I think I do want to do more lives. Um, right now, I'm thinking maybe three times a week, I'll go live and I'll pull some energies for the collective. But check it out, y'all. It's funny because when I do the lives right before happy hour, the messages on Instagram tend to <laughs> tend to uh, resonate or be um, somewhat uh, connected to the collective energy that I do in happy hour on YouTube right before I start the, the collective readings. And yesterday, the what came through in the um, in the Instagram live reading, y'all, was um, juicy ass shit like spilling all the tea all over the place like fucking i swear it could have been like a telenovela or like a soap opera or some shit like uh, da, 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 damn so you might <laughs> you might want to check that out it's only going to be up for until about like 5 30 this evening eastern standard time okay uh but yeah check that out and then also check out the collective energy reading for during uh, happy hour and see if that resonates with you because they were very similar energies very similar energies even like some of the same cards came out okay Whew. but yeah all right so let's see what we've got for the weekend edition for the collective here we go Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday, July 19th through Sunday, July 21st, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. 
All right, we're giving this three shuffles here, kids. Um, I am seeing purple. And for some reason, I'm wanting to say green, but I really am seeing purple. Um, and there's a certain understanding I really feel like that's trying to break through for a lot of us right now. There might be a certain perspective you might be working on achieving or acquiring or shifting into. Um, you might be in a situation where you're getting a lot of downloads from the universe and you're just trying to integrate those. But divine wisdom is at hand. It's flowing through you. It's coming to you. Just trust your intuition, Spirit is saying, okay? Trust the signs and the synchronicities as well. Like me specifically, I have been seeing 17 off the motherfucking hook, y'all. Like I just saw 555 five, five on the counter. And I was, I was talking to my friend. Um, you guys may know her as Anima here on YouTube. On uh, Instagram, she's, she's um, divine, at Divine Philosophy. But she was saying how she's been seeing 555 five, five all over the place. And... Um, Normally when that happens for her, I just saw 17 again, but normally when that happens for her, um, you know, a tower moment is coming around and I've been seeing 555 a lot lately and the tower has been coming out left and right, okay? There has been tower energy everywhere, all over uh, recently. Um, but Spirit is saying, trust your intuition, trust your signs and the synchronicities. I keep seeing 17, which is kind of an indication. I looked it up yesterday, finally. It's an indication that you are like going in the right direction. You're on the right path. And it's so crazy because there are some things that are happening in my life right now where I'm kind of like, what the actual fuck is all this? <laughs> Why is this happening? This makes no sense. But the signs and the synchronicities are saying, and Spirit is just saying to me, just stay calm stay patient you're on the right path don't worry about it just let us handle this for you all right spirit whatever you say <laughs> whatever you say all right so let's let's get into this let's see what we've got for the collective today for our weekend edition oh and yesterday someone left a comment asking if i uh if i had um if a card had fallen off the desk and she didn't see me pick it up so she wanted to know if I had missed it. No, I actually, and I looked and I did get it. So thank you. I did, I did. Ooh, shit. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh wee, ooh, 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 y'all. We've got death. And we've, damn. On the other side, we've got the Hierophant. Oh my goodness, and it's this, and both of them are upright, but you see, death is the only one that's facing us. Okay? Um, and it's interesting, it's so incredibly interesting. I'll get into these cards in a second, but with, de oh shit, underneath death is the two of cups. Wow. Okay. Um, It's interesting because both the Hierophant and Death have two figures here, okay, right? You have it on this side of the Hierophant, you have these two figures here who are the ones that are being indoctrinated by, you know, this Hierophant here. On this side, you have these two figures here that are facing Death, okay? And <clears throat> I do know that... Um, on the death card here, these two symbolize, this is like a merchant and like an artist of some sort or something like that. But right now I'm feeling a connection as these two, okay, being these two here that you find on the front, on this side of the Hierophant, all right? This is the traditional side. Normally this is the side that we would see, but I'm using the vice versa deck here. When it came out in our, in our reading for today, you're seeing the back of the Hierophant. You're seeing this child um, uh, and you're seeing this child having the key. This is a, a rebirth here. You see this goddess symbol right here, right? To, so this side of the Hierophant is um, looking past the dogma, is getting past the, the lies and the secrecy and the controlling aspect of this Hierophant energy. The Hierophant is religion. It is organized religion. It is university. It's government. It's... Um, um, 
status quo, it is social conditioning, it is social norms, it's all that kind of stuff, right? It's the social structure, okay? But you're looking past this, you're getting past this, and, pl and then here you go. It's because people are maturing, all right? And there's a massive change that's happening um, when it comes to the dogma, when it comes to um, spirituality, I just heard, what you're seeking spiritually. Now, as an adult here, right, because these two look kind of like they could be, you know, adolescents, young men, I don't know, in their mid-20s, late 20s at the maximum, something like that, right? But now they've gone through a maturing process and now they're ready to transform. That's kind of what I'm seeing here, okay? What about now, for, now, you have the Five of Swords here, all right? This is some fuckery. This is some tomfoolery, okay? But you also have the moon in reverse. Oh shit, with the high priestess in reverse. All right. Wow. Well, this is really intense, guys. All This is all major arcana except for one card. And the only one card, the only, god damn, the only card, the only card that is not major arcana is the freaking five of swords. But it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense because of the change that's happening here. Someone is facing some serious opposition. Some serious opposition. Now, I wanna start here because you have strength with the hanged man. Both are the non-traditional sides that you would see. Okay, this would, these would be the traditional sides, right? In the Rider weight deck. But here we have these sides. And again, you have these two figures. Now these are actually, in fact, the two figures from the Hierophant energy. You see? Okay. These are, in fact, the two figures from the Hierophant energy. And it's in this instance, I'm going to leave the Hierophant right here so that we can keep looking at it. Okay, so I don't have to keep going back and forth. If you look at it this way, this is the instance in where these two individuals start to see past the veil of secrecy that the Hierophant has been portraying. This is where, this is where in the journey, these two individuals start to gain some sort of enlightenment, but also they start to think for themselves. They start to think on their own, right? This came out in reverse. So to me, you've reached this enlightenment. You've, you're coming out of, you're coming out of this hanged man state, this stuck state, this stagnant state. So you're really healing some serious shit, really healing some serious shit, you guys. But see, as you come out of this, the devil is now trying to stop you. This is not the devil card. This is strength. But you see how these two are facing the devil? Stand your ground, okay? This makes perfect sense. This makes perfect sense because, and that's where, this is where this five of swords energy is coming from. All right, the opposition, the backstabbing, the, 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 the lose-lose situation. The opposition that you face, you've reached some sort of new perspective here, but it doesn't mean that the others around you are, are too keen on that. It doesn't mean that the others around you that are still in this energy, the Hierophant, will vibe with you. And thus you get the Five of Swords. Misery loves company. People wanting to cut you down because they see that you're, you're embodying some new form of freedom that they can't seem to grasp and they don't want you to have that because they feel like they can't have that. But you know all too well that they can have it. The only way that they can have it though is if they take some action and make some changes for the, on, in their lives. Hmm, much like the way you have. Wow, isn't that novel? Rocket science at its best, guys. <laughs> okay, then we have the moon and the high priestess and the high priestess is in reverse. The high priestess is the counterpart to the hierophant. But when in terms of, now the high priestess comes first in the, uh, my, ma I'm sorry, the major arcana, all right? The high priestess is number two in the major arcana. The hierophant is number five. 
But in my opinion, as a reader, uh, oh, well, okay, I'm seeing, I'm, I, I see. All right, because, all right, so yeah, the, the high priestess would come first because the high priestess is uh, divine wisdom, okay? She holds all the secrets of the universe, all of them, right? And we don't originate from Earth. We originate from the stars. We originate from source, right? Which is non-physical. So we embody all of this wisdom, 17, again, good God. We embody all of this wisdom as a universal being, as a spiritual being, initially, outright, okay? But then we incarnate in this three-dimensional world, and then we start to be confined, or then we start to learn or, or be controlled by the structure of the Hierophant which is the physical wisdom. Now, not to say that this is bad at all. It's not bad. It's part of the development process, okay? It's part of why we're here. It's part of our lessons in being spiritual creatures or spiritual beings have, having a physical existence. So then, you know, the Hierophant comes and starts to teach us structure, but in our world, the Hierophant is a very controlling individual, very dogmatic, is... Um, not too lenient in many cases, right? What I'm getting here is that then, <clears throat> once you reach a certain level, you can then come back to the high priestess because you learned what you needed to learn from the Hierophant, right? And thus, his back is turned here. But the, but the high priestess is reversed, which to me is speaking to secrets being revealed, especially with the moon in reverse. No more hidden secrets, no more hidden emotions. Something that may have been very much a secret is now fairly obvious to someone in some way. And thus we have the Five of Swords energy. Now, I don't want to speculate on what this could be. This could be anything, all right? I, I, this is not a love-specific reading, although the Two of Cups, where, oh, oh, where is the Two of Cups? Oh, the Two of Cups is here, all right? So maybe, so, okay, so maybe we are talking a romantic relationship, and, you know, underneath the Hierophant here, we have the Eight of Cups, all right? So someone's walking away from something. So there could be, there could have been a relationship that became, that, like, came to light, um, it could be a job situation. This could be family. I mean, this literally could be anything. This is a general reading. I'm, I'm not trying to get too specific because it really, it really could be anything. And I don't want to influence anybody in, in placing it somewhere where it may not necessarily, necessarily fit. So please, you place it as you feel, okay? But the, ultimately, the advice here is you need to freaking just stand your ground. Do not let the devil take you down here. Especially if you've come to, into some new form of, of understanding, new form of wisdom, especially with that purple energy. Purple is representative of the energy of the high priestess, what the high priestess has you know, to offer you. This is the high divine wisdom, all right? Do not let the secrets of the universe get you down, is what I just heard. So I guess that would mean if you have, um, like, don't let the secrets of the universe get you down. If, if you've come into some new understanding about the universe and the way it works, but you're realizing that that is in direct opposition to physical reality or the life that you have around you, don't let that discourage you, okay? Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up in your inner strength, okay? Stand up for the new wisdom and the understanding and the insight that you've come to, okay? And actually, I don't know if I finished this description, but I am seeing these two, right? This is the point where these two, from the Hierophant card, right here, this is the point where these two start to see something differently. And now you've seen that differently. And now here are these two again, Kind of. I'm. I, these are not exactly the same individuals, but I'm kind of seeing the pr this progression here. Now these two are kneeling in front of death saying, okay, we're ready to change. We're ready to see something differently. We're ready to express something new. We've seen the light that the Hierophant was hiding for us 
hiding us from or hiding from us the light that's actually in the high priestess and we're ready to transform but there are people around you that do not like this five of swords and they're going to do anything they can to cut you down now that is absolutely a lose-lose situation because that karma is going to come back to them okay that's not for everybody that's just for some of you hmm. okay we're going to get into the clarification section now and what I want to do with this is I just want to, I'm just going to shuffle the cards over the deck, or I'm sorry, over the spread and just see what comes out where and read it that way. I might end up getting into another deck after this, just in case we need a little more clarity, but I kind of already felt like that might happen, but let's start here. All right, just some clarification, please, spirit. Here we go. Okay, everything landed over here. That's interesting. The Four of Cups. There was a missed opportunity here. Or some sort of unrequited love, or maybe you're just bored. My, my. Maybe you're just bored. Ooh. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, well... I'm going to leave that as it is. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but I just literally flipped that out by accident and it fell right here. So I'm going to take it. It's a number of cards. I'm going to take it. I'm going to leave it there for now. But someone's bored. Someone is definitely bored. Because <laughs> this fell out on <laughs> the high priestess in reverse and the moon in reverse. But now you have the queen of pentacles is underneath the deck. Okay. Let's see, we've got the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles upright with the Nine of Cups. Excellent. You see, you guys, you see, you figured it out. You figured it out, Seven of Swords in reverse. You started to understand, holy shit, this is not doing anything but usurping my energy, usurping my flow, uh, stealing from me, cutting me down taking my power away, no more. I'm putting a stop to that. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. And see, don't let the devil stop you. This is the time to stand up for what you believe in. Fucking right, you guys, holy shit. Okay, so what's this then? Four of Cups, oof, Justice, oof, Eight of Swords, oof, the devil. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> All right, so for some of you, you're really getting, you are really, really getting some serious justice in your life, but this is coming in the form of you breaking free. There was an energy in which um, some of you were really quite bored, all right? Or this is an opportunity, or there's some sort of unrequited love. Um, we could be talking about a situation in which you know, you had a connection with someone, but it didn't quite work out or pan out this the, the way you had wanted, the way you expected, blah, blah, blah. Um, that could be it. Or you were just really bored with your circumstances. You were not feeling fulfilled. Um, you wanted something more. Okay. Well, that allowed the devil to get in there and start fucking around with you. All right? And you were in this sort of cage, eight of swords. You got trapped. Now, for some of you, maybe you went into a certain faith thinking that it was going to help you. It was going to help you turn around. It was going to help turn your, your life around and, and you were going to feel excited and connected, but it really just turned into one big controlling, uh, yet another, for, for whomever this is, it was another controlling aspect in your life. And if you felt caged before, man, did you really feel caged once you got into this situation, Eight of Swords. But once the High Priestess revealed all of this for you, once the High Priestess helped you understand how this was just controlling you, you were able to see past it. And justice is being brought into the situation for you. The scales are balancing out. Mmm. And you're becoming a very, a very well-grounded and stable individual with this Queen of Pentacles, but also there is a hell of a lot of compassion in her. 
At least that's what I'm feeling right now for whomever this is. All right. This change has made you better, has made you stronger, has not made you bitter, which is an excellent thing. Now, with all of that said, I want to clarify, clarify this five of swords energy because I don't like it. I don't like it at all, you guys. So let's clarify this five of swords, please, spirit. Mm -mm. Oh, shit. You see? You see? <laughs> Fucking A. I told you guys, underneath the deck, you have the four of wands. That's the overall energy. And that four of wands is symbolizing your own sense of stability that you have found spiritually within yourself. Looky here, I, to I done told y'all. Three of swords, page of swords, hierophant. There's that motherfucking hierophant. Now, for some of you, what I'm getting here, oh wait, there's more. The star in reverse. Interesting. That's interesting. The star came out in reverse, I think it was yesterday. I don't remember. Maybe it was during the live reading or something like that. I don't remember. And I think I want to clarify this star in reverse specifically. We're going to get back to that in a second. There, this For some of you, we are talking about a relationship, okay? We are talking about a relationship. Two of Cups. And it's a relationship that's finally gone public or a, f a relationship that's finally, you know, being talked about or you're telling, someone is telling their friends about it or something like that or whatever, okay? But, but, ego got in the way, status quo, quo status quo got in the way. There is an element to this situation that is about the established way, uh, the establishment or an established way of being. There's a broken heart here. Someone's heart got broken and now they're watching. This could be you or this could be someone that chose someone else over you. And maybe now they're starting to realize that they made a mistake or, and that's an interesting energy that's been coming out a lot, not just from me, but from a lot of people. Um, uh, well, I haven't been calling out the signs, but I guess I could. We have Libra, we have Capricorn, we have Pisces, we have Taurus, we have Scorpio, we have Aquarius, we have more Taurus, we have Gemini, we have Leo. but it could be anybody really. Anyway, now also this doesn't have to be relationship. If you left some sort of establishment or established way of being, then I really feel like it's these individuals represented by the Hierophant here, whatever that is for you, that are watching you because there is heartbreak, there's disappointment, there's, they feel betrayed in some way, even though they were just controlling you they feel betrayed because you walked away or maybe you're this hierophant energy and you feel betrayed because someone else walked away but someone else walked away because they saw that they got they saw differently enlightenment happened okay well that's really troubling but you know what that sucks for you <laughs> i mean i it, you can't control somebody forever. Eventually, they're going to wake up. Everybody has free will, guys. That is a law of this world. That is God's will for us to have free will in this situation. So when, when you take action to take someone else's free will away, to control somebody else and, 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 and strip them of their free will, the karma will be great. Your comeuppance will be fierce. But hey, that's your choice. 
That is your choice, all right? I want to clarify one last thing here. This is the individual that's walking away from something, that's reached some sort of enlightenment, that has um, changed their, their point of view, changed their actions in relation to the situation, and is up against some sort of devilish energy just for standing up for what they believe in. There is a lack of faith here in this individual, and I want to know why. And I want to know what you can do about that. Which one? This one. All right. The star in reverse. Um, hold on to your faith, you guys. All right? Even though you're in a very strong energy, you do. You feel like you're in a very strong energy with, with this strength card here. The devil is really kind of, is working really hard to put you down. I mean, you have the nine of cups and the star. All right, both of these cards are cards of wish fulfillment, but the star is, re is reversed because you're having a lack of faith. It's almost as if this devil energy is really starting to get to you. Don't let it, all right? One more shuffle, and then I want to get some clarity, some insight, and some guidance on how to handle this lack of faith or this star in reverse. All right, here we go. All righty. So, uh, help us understand the star in reverse, please, spirit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shit. Shit. All right, we're going to stop there. The king of pentacles is underneath the deck. All right. You got the three of pentacles in reverse. You got the three of cups. You got the two of stars. You've got the fool. You got the five of cups. You've got the empress. You've got the three of swords. You got the nine of pentacles and the ten of cups. Wow. Oh shit! Underneath the king of pentacles is the king of cups. Woo hoo! Woo. What is this? What is this? Well, first of all. There's heartbreak here. There could be a relationship that actually fell through or didn't go as planned or you broke up um, or, you know, you have a circumstance that is leaving you really heartbroken, but is, but you're standing in your independence in light of it, all right? But hey, yeah, five of cups, I understand. Whatever this three of swords energy represents for you, there is, there is some real sorrow here. I really feel like whatever transpired did not happen as it was expected or as you expected it to, okay? You have the two of swords with the three of cups and the three of pentacles. This might be a situation where you work with someone. Or, but what I'm getting actually is that you don't want to work with these individuals any longer, potentially. Or in this situation, you don't want, to, there, is, there is some lack of teamwork here. A lack of self-mastery also. Um, there could also be, this actually could be a situation in which you are supposed to be gaining some extra or some more self-mastery, but there's blockage here. There's blockage here because the, with the two of swords, <clears throat> you're not exactly sure which way to go. You kind of are, some of you may have, may even be refusing to see something differently because of the, the emotional, the, the, the fun feeling that you get from this. The three of cups energy is feeling like a party type energy. It's like whatever this represents for you, it feels so good or it felt so good that you don't want to you don't really want to change any sort of aspect element to it for some of you though you're really just quite confused with this two of swords energy you're really not even seeing you're not able to see what it is that you would need to fix or change in order to master yourself even more three of pentacles in reverse This is really weird. <laughs> but then you have the Fool, the Empress, and the Ten of Cups. The Empress could be you, okay? 
but I'm feeling that it's mostly an environmental factor. What would that be? Abundance. Whatever this represents for you, okay, you don't have to worry about it. It's time that you really just take a leap of faith and move in a different direction because your Ten of Cups is coming. This could be a family, this could be a relationship, this could just be whatever it is emotionally fulfilling for you. Also though, you as this Empress, you really could be this Empress and you could be your own Ten of Cups right now. And the universe is just saying, please have faith. Please have faith and just keep going. Everything is, is aligning exactly as it should be. Please have faith. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to turn this star card up right here. This definitely is a situation, you guys, in which your faith has, in fact, been tested. Your faith absolutely has been tested. And actually, this is kind of resonating with an energy of um, that came out a few days ago with... Uh, Oh shoot, I lost my train of thought again. I keep doing that. But this is resonating with something that came out a few days ago, but now I just can't remember what it was. I had it for this for a second and now I just can't remember. Because I got distracted by this King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Um I King of Pentacles, King of Cups, emotional maturity, um, standing your ground, you know, moving forward. Just keep moving forward. Just keep moving forward. That's really all I want to say about that. Just keep moving forward. All right. So we're going to close the reading now with some oracle guidance here for you. Um, I really just also, I guess what I should say about this, these two kings here is someone's going to come through. Someone's going to come through and align with you and match with you. You don't have to worry about it. I just heard, of, for a lot of you, whatever this is, this has been a test of your resiliency, of your conviction. Do you trust yourself? Do you have faith in the universe? Do you have faith in yourself? You need to stand strong in that. Okay? Last shuffle. All right, here we go. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading. There it is. Ooh, wow. Arc uh, uh, I'm sorry, card number five. Angel EIL. I think that's how you, I don't know if I'm saying that, saying that correctly. And Labradorite, individuality. I love this. Look at, look, how, look at the colors on that. That's so beautiful. Okay. But, oh, wow, you know that's falling right in line with what we were saying here, guys, about getting away from this Hierophant energy and being an individual, not being connected to the status quo. I just saw 17 again. I actually saw 38, 17 on the counter over there, and 38 boils down to an 11. So, boop. <laughs> All right. Anyway, card number five. Where are you? There you are. Individuality. We bring you the gift of individuality. As you receive our gift, you will feel safe enough to enjoy the aspects of yourself that truly make you unique. From particular interests to, the way of, to your way of expressing yourself, to what excites and ex inspires your spirit, your individuality is the way the divine wishes to manifest itself through you this lifetime. The key to your divine life purpose is to know who you are and to love and accept that self so that you allow natural develop and ex I'm sorry, natural development and expression in the world to take place. As you accept your individuality, you will understand how natural it is for you to fulfill your life purpose and divine destiny. You will instinctively gravitate towards people, places and energies that support you in being your bright true spirit. 
You'll grow and express yourself more freely and authentically, and the divine light within shall shine brighter without a veil of fear, confusion, or shame obscuring it. You have no need to compare yourself to any other. You are a unique child of the universe with your own spiritual path and destiny to fulfill. That couldn't be any more perfect in the face of this freaking Hierophant energy. Ugh. This guy. This guy. Because this is the energy that wants people to conform. This is the energy that wants people to live that cookie cutter lifestyle. I mean, all of these readings, and this is even coming out in personal readings that I did. Yesterday, I believe it was. It is type, it's time to break free from this structure. And that is what's happening. And people don't like it. Well, you know what? You can kiss my rusty dusties. <laughs> because I'm not going, because we're not going to let you control us any longer. Period. End of story. Not going to happen. You've done it for long enough. Your time is up. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a really fantastic weekend. Stay tuned to my Instagram channel because I'm going to be taking a trip this Saturday, tomorrow. I'm taking a trip out to Greenwich, Connecticut. I'll be doing a reading for someone and I'm gonna be staying at this beautiful resort and I wanna stay, I wanna, I wanna take you guys with me. So just stay tuned for that. I'm gonna, I'm so excited to do that. I'm so excited to, to, to share it with you guys. But anyway, much love to you all. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee, Monday morning. Yeah, have a great weekend. Mwah! Bye.